Hey guys, I made this really tiny hamburger happy meal from a little kit called Crazy's Happy Kitchen Pop and Cook Series. It's a Japanese home cooking set that makes these really tiny edible food. All you need is water and a microwave. And today I'm going to do a tutorial and a review, guest starring my pup Mango and my husband at the end, so stay tuned. So here is what the crazy pop and cook box set looks like. It comes in these bright colorful boxes all in Japanese and this box has everything you need to make two miniature hamburgers, a mini bag of fries and a small soft drink. All you need is water and a microwave and on the back it gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to make everything in the box but of course it's in Japanese. It does have some pictures next to the text though if that helps you guys at all. Alright, so when you open your box, there is a cute foil bag inside. If you noticed on the foil bag, it actually has some cutouts all over for you to make a small bag for your fries and other small accessories for your food. So be careful when you open this bag up. When you open the bag, you'll pull out this tray and you'll instantly see some miniature foil bags in the colors orange, yellow, brown, red, blue, and fuchsia. These all contain your food ingredients. You'll also receive a miniature spoon and a miniature knife for you to use. And it also comes up with a tiny little cup to set everything up. So this little white tray has all the molds you need to make the food. So you're going to start by cutting up the white tray along the lines to form four separate little pieces. This will contain your molds and your mixing tray for all of the food items. So take that foil bag that you had earlier and you're going to cut out all the pieces that are going to be your accessory items for your food. And actually there's some additional instructions on the very back so make sure you keep those as well. The accessories you should end up with when you're done is a little bag for your fries, a soft drink label, and two miniature burger flags. So let's put all the accessories together. Just take your cup label and stick it on the center of your really stinking cute plastic cup. I held it in place with some scotch tape. To make the little bag for your fries, the instructions are actually on the back of the foil bag, but it's really easy to do. All you need to do is fold the sides to the center and tape it down. You're going to flatten your bag and fold the bottom up to seal one end. Just tape it down and once you're done, you'll have this really cute bag that looks a lot like the McDonald's bag that holds your fries. For the miniature burger flags, you're going to take a toothpick and roll one end of the flag where it has the square end onto the toothpick and just secure it with some scotch tape. When you're done, you should have two miniature flags, one red one and one blue one. All right, so now that all the accessories are done, let's move on to the main part of the show, the cooking. We'll start with the fries. So starting with your fry mold and a yellow foil bag, the powder inside actually smells like potatoes in it, which I find really interesting. All you have to do is put that powder into your fry mold and you should have this little plastic miniature water measuring cup and you're going to put two little small bowls of water into your mixture and stir away. Make sure you mix the mixture really well and when you're all done, you'll have this clumpy mixture that smells kind of like potatoes when you're done, which is kind of weird. When you're all ready, you're going to press that potato mixture into the mold. And I would go ahead and wash your hands and use your fingers to press the dough into the mold and form a single even layer like so. Once you're happy with it, just pop it into the microwave for 20 seconds and it should look a little more transparent and smaller. Just pop that out and it actually has this 
greasy like texture which is so strange because you didn't add any oil to it and just take your plastic knife and cut along the grooves where the mold has left it to make your itty bitty fries just put them in your little tiny mcdonald's like bag and you got your itty bitty fries how cute is that all right, so moving on to the big kahuna, you're gonna make the burger. We'll start with the cheese. Just take your blue foil bag and pour all the contents into the mixing bowl. And you're going to use one tiny bowl of water and mix away. It really does smell like cheese. And when you're done, this cheese has like a doughy-like texture. And remember that foil bag you cut out earlier? Well, it has the pattern mold for your cheese. And you're going to Take your cheese dough and flatten it into a single layer with clean hands. Don't worry about it being perfect because we will cut off all the uneven ends. Once you're done and kind of happy with how the cheese mold is doing, just cut the cheese down the center so that you will form two slices of cheese. And amazingly, this cheese looks like the real deal. Moving right along, you'll need to take your burger mold and the brown and orange foil packet. The brown one has your meat mixture and actually has a brothy, meaty scent. And you're going to pour this into your mixing bowl and add two mini bowls of water into it and mix away. When you mix it, it has the similar texture to ground beef. It's so strange. And what you're going to do when you're done mixing is put this in the middle to make your beef patty and I would use some clean hands to press it evenly into the mold to form a single layer and again it smells just like meat it's so weird for the buns you're going to take the orange bag and you're going to pour this mixture into the bowl and add two small little bowls of water it actually is odorless and when you're done mixing it it has this messy goopy like texture that's supposed to be the dough for your bun. You're going to place this in the molds on both sides and fill them halfway up. The mold itself actually has a little line to show you where to fill these molds in. And when you are done, make sure that you drop this mold up and down to remove any air bubbles. Before we move on, let's make the ketchup. Just take the red foil bag and pour the contents into your mixing bowl and add two little scoops of water and mix away. This stuff actually smells like ketchup and has a consistency of ketchup. It's really crazy that it looks so similar and smells so similar. So once you're done mixing that up, we can go back to the burgers and you're gonna pop this in the microwave for about 30 to 45 seconds. And if you notice, the bun's actually risen like real bread. How cool is that? have enough stuff to make two miniature burgers. So pop out your meat patty and you're gonna cut it into two with your plastic knife and it feels like a real meat patty it's like greasy and everything which is crazy so pop out your bun and you're going to cut this in half and this will be one of your little miniature burgers and you guys don't have to do this but they actually made a double burger so they take each patty and cut it again in half so that each burger will have two meat patties so i cut mine in half to make two meat patties per burger and now all you have to do is assemble it. Just take your knife and cut off all the uneven edges on your cheese and you can pretty much start assembling. I assembled my burgers just like the box. I put the patty on first, the cheese, add a generous scoop of ketchup, put on the next patty on top, and then top it with the top part of your bun forget to add your cute miniature flag to hold everything together and you should have this really adorable burger look at it so cute and on to the last piece you're going to make your soft drink you're going to take your little itty bitty miniature cup and fill it about one centimeter below the top with water and you're going to pour all the contents in the fuchsia foil into the cup and this forms probably the coolest reaction that you'll see in this entire kit. The drink will actually fizz up into a soft drink. Isn't that really cool? It looks like a miniature Coke and it's just mind-blowing that 
we are able to make this at home. How cool is that? And it only takes about a minute before it's done fizzing up and then it looks like pretty much flat coke. But it's still a really neat reaction to see happen right before your eyes. And when you're done assembling everything together, you get this entire meal that's so tiny. How cute is it? It actually reminds me of a McDonald's Happy Meal, but I think it's just way cooler than a Happy Meal because you made this and it's so tiny and cute. And visually, it looks like the real deal. It looks like a real hamburger and real fries and the drink fizzes and everything. So visually, it's just so appeasing to see how tiny and cute these little miniatures are. But let's move on to the taste and see how everything actually tastes. Just so you guys know, I actually don't know the nutritional facts of this meal, but it's on the box somewhere, I'm sure. So let's try the soft drink. The adorable little cup is just so tiny and it tastes kind of like flat Coke and it has a weird salty aftertaste. That's the only way I can describe it. These tiny little french fries actually smell and taste very similar to a french fry, but it has a different texture. It's kind of like a soggy french fry. I thought it would have a crunchy exterior, but it really doesn't. It's just a greasy, soggy fry. And moving on to the cutest part of the meal, which is the tiny little hamburger. Look how tiny it is. It's just so cute and it seems so small when you try to hold it with two hands. Um, in terms of taste, it actually tastes very similar to a hamburger. It's a little more bland than I thought it would be because of the smell. It smelled so savory, but it still tastes very similar. The bun tastes just like bread. It's light and airy, just like the real thing. It's kind of flavorless. The burger patty is savory like meat, but it is not as savory as I thought it would be. It's kind of bland. The cheese tastes like a Cheez-It. And the ketchup is actually sweet, like ketchup, a little less salty than the real thing. And of course, I shared it with my husband. Today I eat fried. Does it taste like the fry? That's fairly close. What are you eating now? Burger King. Why is your Burger King so tiny? Cheese is a little bit sweet. Well, it has ketchup on it. How does it taste? It's very dull, but it's surprisingly good. Do you like dinner? I love dinner. I'm full. <laughs> what about your drink? What's your favorite? Not all of it. <laughs> you know how much this meal cost? How much? $4.99. It's about right for a meal. Would you pay $4.99 to eat that again? I mean, well, you want itty bitty fry? Is that a yes? Mango? Bang bang! Oh, you want to fry. Sit, Mango. Mango, sit. Sit. Good girl. Oh, take one. One. That, my friends, is the Happy Kitchen Pop and Cook Hamburger Meal. How adorable is it? I paid $4.99 for the kit, and even though the taste is subpar, I think it's worth it just for the fun of making it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know below what your favorite fast food joint is. If you want to follow me on Instagram, my username is Flying Meal, and I'll catch you guys soon.